What's up, what's up, YouTube? This is CeeLo Green coming at you live from the O. What it do, what it do? Either way, this is my first video of my channel. And I'm basically gonna go ahead and let you know I'm a big My Team fan. I play a lot of NBA 2K, a lot of Madden MUT. However, I'm gonna mainly focus on uh, my team because I like playing this shit a lot. Even though a lot of YouTubers are uh, talking a lot of shit about it, even though I do agree with some of the things that they're saying. But hey, it's a fucking good game. What the fuck can I say? But uh, yeah. As you can see, the title of my lineup is Budget Bros, because the players that I'm about to show you are really cheap, you know, so it's like a bro, you feel me, cheap, somebody you can use, somebody you can hang out with, beat domination with very easily, and it won't break the bank, especially now after some moment challenges that just drop, and you could get some pretty coin I think you get 3k for this one 600 for that one and if you're doing weekly challenges which I did not know they dropped new ones uh, you could get some more money and probably get every player in this lineup that I'm about to tell you about so let's dive in for and about all the players except one that I'm going to show you are gold players so you will have a pretty good team so for point guard, I'm going to go ahead and say that Jeff Teague is a budget monster, even though he's short, he got a good three point, uh, he could shoot the three point, he got a good mid range, he could take it to the hoop, okay defender, you feel me, the open mid range 91 is always a killer, ball control, speed boosting, you feel me, uh, mediocre defense, but hey, it is what it is what it is. For his counterpart on the bench, I would go ahead and recommend Drew Holiday, especially if you end up picking up an Anthony Davis, something like that. Um, George Hill is a pretty solid player that maybe everybody has if they started my team. I think uh, they give him for free, because I got him for free. Uh, Mark Hill Fultz is pretty good, also a pretty cheap player. All of these players, uh, Drew Holiday, Jeff T, and Mark Hill Fultz are between 500 to a thousand in the marketplace so really you could probably get them all for about five six hundred mt if you're lucky enough but i'm gonna go for marco Fultz. he's pretty good uh, overall player um for shooting guards there's a lot of them here that we could choose from him you can find for about a thousand i have his ruby version uh virgin card it's pretty legit has 94 in steel so that's pretty awesome for a gold card I used him recently. He didn't do as uh, as well as I thought he would, but he's you know still a good defensive option. D Wade, beast card. Uh, I could take it to the hole really, really well. Sometimes you can make the three. Good defender, like him. Chris Middleton, eh? I like him with the dynamic duo with Giannis, but. Zach Levine still pretty beastly, but to start I'll probably go with. The Wizzle, the Wade, you probably also get it for free when you start my team. So, counterpart on the bench would very likely be Larry Hughes, just because it's a 94 steal, and you could probably get him for about a thousand if you're lucky enough. But definitely, the Wade is about 500 MT to 600, 700, pretty cheap. For small forwards, we're gonna go ahead and do Carmelo. Melo's a motherfucking goat. Love me that card. You could definitely get them for about a thousand, maybe below a thousand T if you're lucky enough. The most is about fifteen hundred that I would pay for him if you see him in the auction house, but pretty beastly. And if you end up getting Chris Tops, which I would definitely put in this lineup, but he's about seven K, so definitely not a budget card. But they do well, uh, pair well together. For the small forward position, I would say that Rudy Gay is a beast, all around good player. Jay Crowder, good defender, I like him a lot. Otto Porter, he's a good player. Sometimes he's not as consistent as as um, Carmelo. Carmelo does have a tricky shot to get used to because it's fast, but hey. But I'm definitely going to go for Rudy Gay, all around player that can ball up. Let's go up with the power forwards. This guy just bought just now for the for the vid. 
He's a good player. Doesn't excel at anything very well. He can shoot the ball very good. He's just a uh, he's a, a short small forward. Doesn't really rebound the ball very well, and is not good defensively. But offensively, he's a beast. Zach Randolph, beast. Aaron Gordon, beast. Dirk Nowinski is pretty beastly just because offensively in the post he's a monster even though his defense sucks he can make up uh, for it with his height uh, but I'm definitely gonna go ahead and put Aaron Gordon because he helped me out in domination a lot and I'm definitely gonna go here with Zach Randolph he's pretty beastly in the inside could shoot the, th uh, the mid range because uh, really good in the inside it's a great rebounder and if you have a silver Vince Carter which is my favorite player ever they have a dynamic duo so pretty awesome now for the most important position in my opinion in domination let's go ahead and recommend the beast dwight howard it's fucking awesome in the inside pair him up with anybody beast and if you dynamic duo him with kemba walker he becomes an 80 or 81 overall emerald and kemba walker jumps from an 81 emerald to an 85 sapphire which is a pretty big jump and the probably the most underrated best player in the game uh, for the price especially these players like I mentioned you can very likely get them all for a thousand or below the this one is pretty cheap in the auction house you could get them definitely for below a thousand recommend Thon the God maker he's your so beast no matter what position you play him in, he is beast. To shoot the three, gets rebounds, blocks. He might not be as consistent, but he makes up for it because he's just so active, always in the right position to score. Just an awesome player. Uh, for honorable mentions, I wasn't really planning on doing this, but I don't know how much his development McGee costs, but it's fucking awesome. Gets rebounds like a monster. Um, Love me VC, but I know he's not a budget card. Brooke Lopez, a GOAT when it comes to budget beast. And a lot of people talk about the Serge Ibaka card. I haven't used him personally, so I really don't know what to say. Serge Ibaka, fuck it. This is your budget team. 2460 is the salary cap. Uh, this team equates to well below the salary cap of 4200 420 blaze it all day every day um i hope this video is helpful for you guys especially if you're starting out new i recommend to do domination gets you a lot of mt gets you a good card i was able to get the ray allen card uh that pairs up with the steph curry card and historic domination when i beat the bucks wasn't expecting that so you do get really good rewards playing that historic domination and towards the last three teams you also get you don't get any players or any uh, packs but you get MT which definitely does help um, and when you be historic domination you get mad ruby cards two Saf amethyst cards and you also get Jojo White a diamond card 96 overall which they're all pretty awesome I'm gonna say adios to y'all motherfuckers I hope y'all like the video